what's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy and welcome back to another video. Now as you guys know, a couple weeks ago I posted a buying 10 free wish items video and you guys absolutely loved it, the video's at over a million views already. So if you haven't already, be sure to check that video out. But as you guys know, this house and my room in particular is kind of an Amazon shipping center because I always have so many unboxing videos going on, I got a bunch of different stuff in my house at any given moment and in particular with that buying free wish items video if you guys watch the first part of the video I bought like 20 things but it takes a really long time for things to come in and I had to film a video so I filmed the first half with the first 10 items that came in and I now have the other 10 free items from that video which we are gonna unbox today so the format for this video is gonna be a little bit different than normal instead of doing the buying part and then the unboxing we're just doing the unboxing if you want to see the buying part be sure to check out the first part of this series and if you guys want to see more free items off wish or other sites be sure to smash the thumbs up button let's try and get over 20,000 likes on this video be sure to subscribe if you guys are new and let me know if you guys have ever bought anything off Wish. I want to know what your experience was like because I know for me, it's been pretty iffy and I just want to know from you guys. Also, ladies and gentlemen, in the last episode, there were a lot of, let's be honest, there are a lot of you guys who are kind of annoyed with me. You were, you were questioning my intelligence and it's understandable, okay? There were two things in particular that you guys roasted me on in the comment section. The first was, let me see if I can find them. No, I had it two seconds ago. I always do this. So the first one was these. If you guys remember, I found these little control triggers that you can add onto your phone so that you can play PUBG Mobile and possibly other shooter games on your phone. If you guys remember, I tried it and it didn't work, but you went off in the comment section saying, Sean, you get it. You gotta move the shooting icon to underneath these. So I've done that and we're gonna try it round two in this video. And then the second thing that you guys were really, really upset about was this little skin right here because, oh, I put it on a PS4 controller. And for everybody who is all cheesed at that, I was putting it on a PS4 controller, yes. But it's a scuff gaming controller. It's got a bunch of special attributes on it and it was shaped like an Xbox One controller. The reason this didn't fit wasn't because it was on a PS4 controller, it was because it was on an Xbox One controller, not an Xbox 360 controller, which I wasn't aware about. They, they clickbaited me. I thought it just said Xbox, but apparently I need an Xbox 360. Who, who's still rocking an Xbox 360? Come on, fam, it's been like seven years. Sorry if, if you're rocking an Xbox 360. If you are, then you should probably get an Xbox One or a PS4. Definitely get a PS4, don't get an Xbox. But with that being said, before we start unboxing all of our random stuff that we have here, again, free items, we're gonna test out and see if this PUBG Mobile controller actually works because this was one of the things I was most excited to try when we first did the other unboxing. So, I'm gonna try and record this for you guys. Oh, by the way guys, this is a new camera, so let me know in the comment section if you guys like it. Why is my setting thing not in the right place? All right, I'm trying to find a secluded area because my only thing that I wanna do is figure out if this works. Come on, son. Why does it take so long to get to the ground? By the way, guys, the day I'm filming this video is the day that the Call of Duty Battle Royale dropped. So I'm gonna be playing that on my gaming channel if you guys wanna check that out. And also let me know what you guys think of the new Battle Royale for Call of Duty in the comment section. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks pretty interesting. Run the boys some armor. Oh, we got a backpack. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, helmets, I'm aged, run that. I'm gonna try and clap one, at least one booty cheek in this game. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You see me with the booty cheek clap, son? You ain't getting away from me. Oh, no, my thing slid. All right, we got one booty cheek clap. What you got from me, son? I see a guy. He's right over here. Come here, boy. Get bodied, son. Come and help me. No! I was switching guns. I played myself. No, don't finish me. No! All right, guys, so now that we've had a chance to properly test out these bad boys, which again, were free from the last video, I gotta say, pretty big VAP. For me, it's always mad difficult to actually play on my phone when it comes to shooters. And this still, it's still really hard. Like, I'm not good at it by any means, as you guys saw, but it feels a little bit less foreign 
because of these little triggers, it's a little bit easier to shoot than like putting my thumb up because I'm trying to use my thumb to maneuver and aim. So you can aim and shoot a little bit more easily. So for a free thing, pretty big vibe. I'm gonna give it a nice 7.8 out of 10. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to some new items for today. We got that out of the way. I'm sorry again. I messed up in the last video, but let it be said that if I mess up, I own up to my mistakes and I, I let you guys know and I add, I film it in the next video. That's normally how I, how I roll. All right, so how many things we got? 10 on the dot. Again, these are a lot smaller items, so I'm just gonna bang through all of them as quickly as we can because sometimes these videos end up taking quite a bit of time, but since we actually don't have to do the initial part where I buy everything, this should be pretty quick. Oh, okay guys. Bam! We got ourselves a gold chain. Now this was a free gold chain, so I'm guessing it's gonna be about the quality of, you know those like little games that you can play uh, where you put like 25 cents in a vending machine and then you get like a ball that pops out? I don't know if you guys still have those, but we used to have them when I was a kid and this feels like it'd be the same quality. This actually looks like the same format as my chain, as you guys can see here, right here, see? But this one was not free, let me tell you. This also looks very fake, the color of it. Oh my God, it's like glued shut too. All right, but there you go. You can see the gold vibes. Comparison check, a little bit less shiny and stuff, but it's still not bad. I feel like you could do better and this would probably turn your neck green, you know what I mean? But it's not bad. I actually would say I prefer the other chain we got though. I wonder if I can break it. That was easy. Yep. <laughs> That was the easiest thing to break. Oh my god. I'm gonna give that one a 3 out of 10. I literally broke it. Like, that would break under any minor amount of tension. Alright, let's see what else we got. Oh, we got another watch. Okay. They kind of snapped on this one. It's sealed in plastic to try and make it seem like it's worth a little bit more money. As with the other ones, it doesn't feel like it's worth any money. Why is it? Why do they do this? Just embrace that this shit was cheap. It's like they covered it all in plastic and shit. Like, why? I really don't understand the point. I get legit good, high quality watches watches that aren't covered in plastic like this. I can't even, ugh. Let's check the vabs. Oh my God, it feels disgusting. Like if it honestly, it just feels like if, if you were actually wearing this out in public and somebody touched it, they would just look at you and, and, and leave. Does it work though? At least, because some of these don't even work. Okay, it works. All right, so the, you, the hands do move. It's got the Geneva Roman numeral vibes. So the hands, you see the three mini watches on the inside? Those don't work. The main watch does work, but the hands on the mini watches are just stuck. That is completely aesthetics. At this point, we've had, I think, three different free watches from Wish, and I would say this is the worst. This feels just like, can I snap it? I feel like I could snap it. I don't know why I keep Snap right off, clean, no problem. Okay, what do we have here? We got fart bomb bags. How does this even work? Do not tear this package. Break the small water bag inside the package, pressing softly. Okay, we have 10 of them. I'm gonna go try one outside, and if this works, I might try and prank one of the boys with it. But first, we gotta see if it works at all. All right, folks, so we're outside in the garage. I want to go outside, but it's actually pouring rain outside, so. That's not gonna work. Hey, I got a little zoom on this camera. So it's, it's a little, ooh, ee, ooh, ee, ooh, ooh. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna hopefully add a little bit of value to the viewing experience for you guys with these quick zooms. Okay, anyways, what you guys are here to see right now is, wait, I'm getting good at the zooms, ready? Boom, the fart bombs. So obviously they're supposed to be kind of stinky, so I didn't want to stink up the whole house. So that's why we're out in the garage. Uh, also, my apologies if there's a little bit of an echo. I might need to get a mic for the camera, and the garage is huge, so there's a big echo in it. But let's try out these fart bombs. Let's see if they're any good, and if we could potentially be pranking our friends with them in the near future. All right, so the instructions I got, there's like a little water pouch in here. You pop it, and then it'll, I don't get it. Maybe I'll just step on it. Why is it invincible? Why you no work? Okay, we got it to pop. It just like exploded all over my sock. Oh God, that, that smells like ass. I understand why it's called a fart bomb. How do you package fart? I don't understand that. I've never understood how you package fart. Oh, there we go. So I busted the inside. It's gonna fill up and then it should pop. As you guys can see, it is inflating. Is it gonna do anything? How long does it take? 
two hours later. All right, verdict on these, they're oath. So it's supposed to, like, why else would you be using these unless you're trying to prank somebody? So if you're trying to prank somebody, it needs to work. You know, I need to be able to press the thing, throw it in the room, run away. I'm not trying to get hurt by my own prank. That defeats the whole purpose of the prank. I can just throw an egg in the room and whoever's in the room will probably have to deal with the smell. I mean, it won't be as bad and it would mostly just be messy. So it's, st it's still not a good option, but I feel like there's better options for stink bombs out in the world. And if you're gonna do the prank, you might as well do it right. Yes, it's free, but if you stinge out on your prank, your prank's not gonna work, it's not gonna be funny, there's no point in doing the prank at all. And you don't wanna be known as the shitty prankster who can't even actually execute their prank. So I would say go with the real deal if you wanna do it, but these ones, ow! All right, what else we got here, folks? What is this? It's like a little Bluetooth AirPod. Oh, oh my God, this is the bulkiest, thickest, least comfortable thing I've ever put in my ear. It literally hurts. That's oh. Okay, I think it's on. Probably, I probably just Bluetooth connected. See if it shows up. S530. Okay, we're connected. It, I mean, we're connected. It will barely stay in my ear. Of course, I gotta play, you know, the new 6 9 track. Like, as you guys can see, it's hanging out of my ear. It's extremely uncomfortable. It actually hurts to have it in my ear. The audio isn't terrible. A lot of the stuff I've got has had really bad audio. Um, but like it doesn't feel good. So this at least has good audio not great, but it's decent like it's loud enough I can vibe to it. It's just really uncomfortable if they made this fit your ear properly This would be a vibes free product. It was also really easy to set up So because of the ear because it's uncomfortable I got to give it a little bit of a dock on the rating So I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 if you're looking for it's free at the end of the day you just gotta pay shipping, so it probably costs you like five bucks to get this. All right, next item. Oh, we got some shades. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. I feel like you can get decent shades for really cheap. If you've ever been to like um, Venice Beach in LA, there's always shades being sold and you can get decent knockoff Ray-Bans for like 10 bucks. They don't last forever, but they're not terrible. All right, let's see what we're working with, baby. Aw. Uh. All right, we kind of vibing, son. These aren't bad. I probably would never wear them, but they're not that bad. I feel like sunglasses are one of those things that you could get for super cheap and still have a decent, like not be terrible. Um, the quality doesn't feel garbage. It actually feels pretty solid. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart. They're not the nicest sunglasses. That's the only thing, but they're not terrible. I would give these a six out of 10. All right, what do we got next? Oh, okay, so this is the lens that you can put on your phone. This is actually one of the items I was really excited to try out. So we've tried this before with, oh my God, I actually still have it. This is one of the first Wish videos that I ever did. We got this like telescope thing that was supposed to be able to attach to the front of your phone like this and you could, you could take pictures of shit really far away. It didn't work at all, like at all. And I was really sad because I thought it would be pretty cool to actually take pictures with that kind of thing. So instead we have this lens here. This is the second thing that is similar we are gonna try. I think you just clip it on. Hopefully it'll let us take wavy pics. Not entirely sure how it works though. All right, so we're gonna go to camera. This is okay, you guys can see what's in front of me now. All right, no comments about it, please. And this is what we see when we add this to my phone. Um, so it looks like it's, it's actually just a fisheye lens. Oh, there's another type of lens here too. So I think I can turn this off, put this one on. Swap out the lenses. The other one was like a fish eye. Didn't really, like, it wasn't a good fish eye. What the hell is this? This is just blurry. This is, it literally just makes it blurry. <laughs> like, what? Oh, it's a magnifying glass. You can see my fingerprint, fam. That's kind of zooked. This might be more than you want to see, but what, what can you see on my face? I can't even see it yet. So we're gonna find out. Oh, I feel like it looks disgusting. Ew, there's like craters in my face. Whoa, what does my beard look like? Ew, 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 ew. This is actually kind of cool. Look at that. That's zooked, fam. You can see the individual like fibers on my pants. What else can we look at? These Yeezys, I got my Feezys right here. Bruh, holy shit. Yo, this is super cool. This is just on my desk. Oh, we have extremely old candies here. Let's take a look. Oh, that's so cool. See like the individual grains of sugar. This might be my favorite free wish product we've ever gotten. I, I'm fascinated with this. I could honestly probably spend the next 10 minutes just looking at random stuff through a magnifying glass. But I'm not gonna do that because we have a bunch more things to open. The first, uh, the first lens was pretty old. 
the fisheye it wasn't really a vibe but the second lens was a big dutty vibe fam so i'm gonna say a, i'm gonna give that an 8 out of 10 for a free item the amount of enjoyment i could get out of that kind of zooped fam all right we got how many items left we got one two we got three items left let's go out with a bang ladies and gentlemen come on that was a good one honestly i don't know if we can beat it i don't know if we can beat it what's in here oh we got a ri oh my god we got the troll engagement ring i think this was i think it was actually from a different video this is a little thing maybe i'll maybe i'll do my video to olivia on my instagram so if you guys want to see me prank olivia with this fake engagement ring follow me on instagram and i'm gonna go do that for you guys in the next like day or two after this video comes out I think she's gonna be stressed. Like, look at this thing. This is out! I don't know what would stress her out more, the fact that I'm randomly proposing or I'm proposing with that. Okay, last two items, ladies and gents. Oh, this is the, like, belt knife thing. I'm still not sure why this was free. As you guys can see right here, there's a little itty bitty knife on the end. Now I'm pretty sure, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure in the ad, the knife was a little bit bigger than this. This is like a, a mini ass knife, but let's see if we can cut anything open. Can it do work? Okay, a little slice. Not bad, not bad. Try again. Yeah, we slicing, slicing and dicing. It does work, I will, I will give it that. And then I think you just like pop it in. Oh, it must be on your wrist, cause I, cause I don't know anyone with a waist that would fit this. It also has a compass on it, pretty big vibes. Let me try putting it on my wrist. Okay, we got it on. As you guys can see right there, pretty like weird. Definitely wouldn't wear this out in public, but if you're going camping or doing some crazy outdoor adventure, this doesn't look that out of place. And if you have to like fight off a bear quickly, <laughs> boom! <laughs> That took me like a minute and a half to get out and it's probably not gonna do much. It's interesting and it's free, which is obviously the major key here. We're trying to save our money instead of spend our money, which I've done way too much of on this channel. But unfortunately, I'm probably not gonna stop anytime soon. I guess unfortunately for me, but fortunately for you. And that brings us to our final item. Feels like it might be a ring again. I got a lot of jewelry. There's a lot of free jewelry, kind of vab. This one is a little bit more vabs, I will say. Check it out, guys. It's the feather, the silver feather ring. It's focusing on my face, focus on the ring. Bam! As you guys can see, silver feather ring. I think this would be a pinky ring. It's actually kind of wavy. Like of all jewelry that I could potentially rock from these, I feel like this might be the biggest vibe of them all. The silver, it, it would be, I could honestly see myself wearing this if it was gold. Silver doesn't really match my vibes, as you guys can tell, I'm kind of golded out. But if I were to wear silver jewelry, I might hold on to this in case I ever, you know, switch up, hit them with the left, and uh, and I would rock this. This isn't bad. Like, let me know what you guys think. I feel like as a little, a little pinky ring vab, you could definitely pull this off. And again, it's free. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for part two of the buying 10 random free items off Wish series. If you guys want me to buy any more items off Wish that are free or of any other category, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys didn't see part one to this series, be sure to check that out. I'm gonna put a link to that down below in the description as well. As always, a big thank you to you guys for watching the video. If you guys like the new camera setup, by the way, I can't remember if I mentioned that earlier in the video, I am rocking a new camera. Let me know what you guys think of it. If you want me to stick it out with this camera, if you want me to switch it to a different camera, I think it's pretty vaps. The only thing is you might notice I look this way a lot because my little viewfinder is on the right instead of above. So it's kind of annoying in that sense. But overall, I feel like your boy's looking pretty good. I got a nice little lighting setup behind me. I'm feeling GQ ready, ladies and gentlemen. So let me know what you guys think of the new camera in the comment section down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Toodles. Oh, I can't, can't quite get to the inside of the camera because there's like a little guard on it. Toodles, 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 shit, this is hard. Toodles!